Experts weighing in on traveling abroad for medical procedures after two people from Florence County were killed and two others injured during a kidnapping on their trip to Mexico. Family and friends say the four went on that trip to support one of them who was scheduled to have a cosmetic surgery. Melissa Rademacher joins us now in the studio and Melissa going abroad for medical care has become known as medical tourism and it's a growing industry that comes with lots of factors to consider. Exactly, Roth. Researchers estimate worldwide medical tourism is a growing industry at that rate of 15 to 25 percent every year. Now, the CDC offers recommendations for people considering it. The Medical Tourism Index ranks health care destinations and Patients Beyond Borders offers consultations and research about medical tourism. And I talked to the CEO of Patients Beyond Borders, who says cosmetic surgery is the top reason people travel to get work done. And Mexico is one of the top countries, making the actions of the group of for pretty common, but he says the city of Matamoros, where the group was caught in gunfire, is not even on his radar for having a globally established medical system or even being a safe place to travel. Patients Beyond Borders does research and consultations to establish those reputable locations for medical care and says people should always do their thorough research. We focus on the resort towns, uh, Cancun, Puerto Vallarta, Cancun has become a real medical center in itself. They've got a, a, a internationally accredited hospital that was featured in the New York Times uh, not long ago. So really the border towns and the, uh, the, uh, the resort, what we call the resort towns that have built in uh, travel. They've already got a lot of people traveling there. And the U.S. State Department also issues travel warnings across the globe. The Mexican city of Matamoros is an area that has been under a do not travel advisory since July of 2021. And Roth. Thank you very much, Melissa. And Senator Lindsey Graham is stepping up in the fight against Mexican drug cartels, bringing fentanyl across our borders. After speaking with family members who had lost loved ones after being abducted by members of a suspected drug cartel in Mexico, Senator Graham discussed a bill. The bill would designate Mexican drug cartels as foreign terrorist organizations and authorize the use of military force against them. Drug cartels in Mexico have been terrorizing Americans for decades. We're going to unleash the fury and might of the United States against these cartels. The foreign terrorist organization designation is the highest classification you can give a criminal terrorist enterprise that is not a nation state.